Welcome to Singer, Songwriter, Etc. with Mike Jennings. All right, folks, we are back with you again, and this time we have got a lovely young lady, Lindsay Castle. We can't let her move because she's got the hat on. You can turn and look at them right now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> she's got this hat on, and we can't get enough light up underneath that hat for that pretty little face. But anyway, Lindsay was on about a year or so ago, and she is now a year older, so we brought her back so that she could sing for us some more because she's got a great voice and she's got a brand new CD out and I got a picture of what might be the cover <laughs> but we're not sure yet I don't know there you go and it's got her picture on it of course but anyway <laughs> it does look good but let me show you something else I got in my hands today what she gave me because she wanted to make sure <laughs> I knew all about her and it's got on there that she has been working on a new album. Oh, excuse me, Brian. I'll put it back up. There you go. And it's got all kind of little stuff about it. I thought it was just cute as it could be. I wasn't to supposed to. Oh, I wasn't supposed to show that to y'all. I am so sorry. But it does say here that she did just cut a record at Master Records, which Dave Howard, and I don't know if y'all know Dave Howard, but he was the sound engineer at the Nashville Palace, the original Nashville Palace, for years and did a very, very good job. When he was not there, you knew it as soon as you walked in the building because you could, you could tell the difference in the room because the room just did not sound good when Dave Howard was not there. Am I correct, Brian? Number three cameraman, he knows we had to listen to it all the time. <laughs> it's got all kind of neat stuff on here. Tell me about her writing three of the songs that's on her album and her dad writing two of them, which I think is very neat that, that they have that family unity. <laughs> Are you ready to talk now? If you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to, I done spilled the beans on the whole thing. Had to, can you believe I did that? It'll it's all work. right. <laughs> now, you do have a new album. Mm -hmm. But since this time, you have been playing everywhere, correct? Everywhere I can. <laughs> everywhere you can. Well, tell the folks out there some of the places you have been playing. Um, well, here in Nashville, I've been playing, you know, down on Broadway and stuff when I come into town. And right. I like to go out to John A's now. John Ace um, is a good place. We all go there. You know, back at home, though, I've been doing some festivals there and, you know, restaurants and stuff like that. So So you play, do you play every weekend? Most of the time, yes. <clears throat> Still going to school. You're in college now? I will be starting college later on this month, yes. Later on this month. Then you're mm -hmm. going to go where? I'm going to community college back home. Okay. But I'm doing um, online classes so I can keep up with, you know, college and my Playing music career. So. Okay. And that's going to, now, you're going to have a major, what's it going to be? I mean, other than boys, you're going to have a real one, right? Web, te Declared no one. web technology. Web technology, okay. Yeah. So, well, I mean, your undeclared major is going to be boys, right? No. They're not? No. Not unless they can play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Well, you're 18 now. You've got to think about My guys. undeclared major will be music. Your undeclared music. So boys are not in the picture. Just pushing them aside, huh? Right now, yes. <laughs> Catch them when you're 30 or 40, right? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I bet that bug will hit earlier than that. What are you on a bed, slugger? It'll catch her, won't it? Yep, you'll decide you're going to have to have one. Somebody's going to have to carry all the equipment. That's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thought right there, isn't it? Somebody's got to carry the equipment. Your dad don't want to carry all that around. That's, yeah. He can just watch the boys. So get a strong boyfriend. Strong boyfriend. There you go. Okay. <laughs> What are your dreams? Now, you, this is your, what, second, third CD? Second. Second. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you're going you're gonna to want to pursue a music career, right? Yes. And you're going to be Definitely. famous. <laughs> I would like that. It would be good, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Speaking of being famous, you have some great new songs for us today, correct? Yes. We're going to get to hear them in just about, I don't know, a few seconds. So... Folks, we're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we're going to have some great music from Lindsay Castle that can be found at lindsaycastle.com. So she has her own website. Did you put it up? Yes, I built it. You <laughs> built it. All right. So all the mistakes, this is the webmaster right here. <laughs> webmaster number one. So we'll be right back in just a moment. Um, I'd like to introduce my guitar player and friend over here, Adolfo Mayer, and I'd like to thank him for coming and playing with me today. Um, the first song I'm going to do is a song off my new album, 
It's called Old Fashioned Country Girl. song that I wrote called Here I Stand. When I think about your love, I want to know where it's come from. I never really see
All right, folks, that was Lindsay Castle, and her first song was Old Fashioned Country Girl. And do you think yourself as an old fashioned country girl? Do you? For really? the most part, yeah. <laughs> At 18 years old, you think you're an old fashioned country girl <laughs> in 2007? Yeah. <laughs> now, why do you do that? Didn't you listen to the song? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you've only been here a few years. It's not like you've been here for your whole lifetime yet. But actually, you have, hadn't you? You got to think about that one. I know. Never mind. <laughs> you have been here your whole lifetime, but yes. tomorrow will be a day longer. But anyway, mm -hmm. no. I mean, I think of 18-year-old young ladies or 18-year-old guys in 2007 as high tech and games and cell phones and computers, like you wrote this out in the car and printed it out in the hotel room. And you know, old-fashioned country girls are like making butter and churning stuff and I don't know what they do today. What are they doing today, Brian? They're they're knitting and that you know, stuff like that. You're looking at me like I'm crazy, I'm like right? A, a modern old fashioned country. A girl. Modern old fashioned country girl. <laughs> For nowadays. <laughs> For nowadays. You've been coming to Nashville how many years? Since I was about ten. So eight. eight. Years. <laughs> Tell me some of the things you really like about Nashville. Well, first thing, I just love the traditional country music. There's no other place I think you could go that you could get the same sound. And, you know, it's just, I love sitting anywhere and listening to the musicians here. They're just so amazing. And There's good musicians. Definitely. <laughs> and, of course, I like, you know, being able to come out here and sing and beautiful area. And well, you're, you're from so. North Carolina. It's pretty there, too. Yeah, it's true. It is true. Yeah. It just looks different here. Yeah. <laughs> it's those beautiful musicians. 